Hey everybody, Ethan here from WordTech, back with another video for you guys. This is a channel update. It's been a little while since I've done one of these and I've been wanting to, uh, I actually had one filmed and then didn't have time to edit it. So this is kind of adding on top of that one and, uh, and also reiterating some stuff that I talked about in that one. But, uh, I've been promising one for a little while and it's just things have been crazy busy and, uh, I kind of wanted to go over, well, why there was some content missing for a little while. I promise this time it's not a dumb reason. You know, there's been uh, reasons for a while that have been procrastination and stuff, and I've admitted that, but the, there was actually some good reasoning for this stuff. And then I uh, uh, also wanted to talk about some future content that we have coming, uh, what's going on with WordCast and the way we're restructuring a lot of the channel to get more content out to you guys, uh, what's going on with the website because there's still nothing on there, and uh, what kind of some restructuring that's happening internally in terms of, uh, well, word tech here. So the first thing I'll talk about though is why there was some content missing. So uh, about five weeks ago, uh, as of Thursday, so a couple of days ago, uh, there was a content was missing for a little while. I had a lot of stuff prepared and WordCast was supposed to come out and then uh, we ended up not doing that and some other stuff like that. And so uh, the, I guess this is the first thing I wanted to address is, and you know, I, I want to preface this by listening to the whole thing. Everything is uh, better now. But uh, my my father almost died. So that was uh, pretty crazy. That happened, like I said, about five weeks ago. Uh, he was racing on a, a velodrome on his bike. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but uh, basically it's it's a circular track for, for bicycles and uh, the corners are about a 45 degree angle banking and he was racing on, on a cement one. So he was riding going probably 30, 35 miles an hour and some people crashed in front of him and uh, he couldn't stop in time or, any, or get out of the way and ended up hitting them and going over the handlebars and landing right on the cement wall. Uh, broke eight ribs uh all of his right ribs are broken in multiple places including the back uh spent several days in the icu and uh punctured his lung had to insert a tube into his lung and stuff like that as well as uh just massive bruising and all kinds of other crazy stuff it was an insane experience so that's why things were lacking for a little while and why wordcast was missed for like two weeks and stuff as i've been helping out with all of that because uh he's doing a lot better now he's able to uh ride his bike bike on a stationary bike now and uh and is able to walk around and stuff but it was for a while he couldn't even do anything lots of bad road rash and stuff as you'd expect uh, i won't put up pictures but what i will say is that was a pretty traumatic experience and uh unfortunately uh we actually he didn't have health insurance for that one month span uh the month that he got injured of course uh we made a dumb mistake it was our fault but uh Anyway, there's a GoFundMe link down in the description, which is, uh, you know, I'm not saying you guys need to donate or anything. That's just money that we're using to help put towards the medical bills. And we thank everybody that has or that does donate down there. It's uh, been incredible the amount of support we've gotten from people. Um, but anyway, uh, we're, we're, we're negotiating with the insurance that we currently have to see if maybe we can convince them to pay it because it was two days before that insurance started, of course, you know, Murphy's Law. Anyway, so that's why some content was missing and I wanted to make sure I addressed that first before anything else. Uh, and then uh, there was another week of WordCast missing. This was uh, last week's and that is actually another good reason, I, I promise. Uh, I'll actually grab it over here. Uh, this fun little guy, my LSI, or actually it's by Avago, but uh, uh, LSI 9211-8i HBA card decided that it was going to just stop working. Not sure if it was related to, I may have had a crash and force killed my computer which lost power to this and corrupted the BIOS or something, but point is I couldn't boot my machine with this and uh, I tried every trick in the book that I could figure out and could not get my system to boot with this installed other than once in a while and it would act kind of funky and then I couldn't restart and things like that and I, I was worried about data loss. So luckily I use Windows storage spaces for backing up all of my data which was connected to this because uh, it was in my, my workstation server here. And so with storage spaces being the wonderful technology it is, it's um, it doesn't care what, uh, it's all software based so it doesn't care what SATA controller you use, what RAID controller you use, what OS you're running as long as it's a Windows OS that supports storage spaces. So I had to take the whole computer, disassemble uh, quite a bit of stuff and pull this card out and then plug all my drives back into the onboard SATA and reboot. And of course with WordCast, uh, my time frame is very limited in terms of getting that out. And so we generally film on Tuesdays and I don't have any time to edit. I, I import the footage on Tuesday night while I'm sleeping. And then um, on Wednesdays, I edit that footage and uh, Wednesday nights after I get back from work, because I also work full time, I'm gone like 12 hours for work. Um, and then I edit the footage 
and then I start the render process. And when I get up in the morning on Thursday, I upload it and then finish the uh, few additives that I need to do, like uh, end cards and annotations and stuff, and uh, then publish that Thursday afternoon, usually evening time, actually more so. Uh, so time's really limited, and there was just no way to get it done with this HBA failed on Wednesday. And then some other stuff came up Thursday, so I couldn't even get it out a day late. And so then I just was like, I'm not going to do this because the news is old at this point. It's already, you know, three days, four days late. So uh, that was why that was missing. Now, this one, uh, if you guys watched it, it was a day late, and that was actually kind of planned. Uh, Daniel had to work. He literally stayed the night at his work, so we couldn't film on Tuesday. Totally cool, too. Uh, you know, stuff happens. But anyway, that's the reason for the missing content. That was the first thing I wanted to address. And uh, now I want to get into some of the better news of uh, what's happened with my rig here and uh, what's happening with the, the, the channel. I'll do a full uh, setup tour, actually, a uh, dedicated video here sometime soon. But uh, here at the end, after I go over some more important stuff, I will tell you guys some of what's changed because you probably see that there's more displays behind me and stuff, right? So uh, I'll go over that. But um, first things first is the kind of restructuring of the channel, stuff that we're focusing on more. So first off, we've put a lot heavier focus on WordCast now. It doesn't, we don't do it live because that was causing various issues with interruptions. We couldn't really get the B-roll to work correctly. Uh, sometimes the internet was going down, all kinds of random problems with that. So what we do with WordCast now instead is we, we, we film it separately and do edits, add in B-roll and stuff like that, and uh, then upload it on Thursday. So film Tuesday, edit Wednesday, upload Thursday, uh, and that's all, um, that, that's generally a consistent thing. We're trying to put more emphasis. We're doing a higher quality, uh, higher quality documentation regarding the news that's come out so that we have a better chance to talk in more detail and give more accurate information as well as uh, I think it allows us to shorten it a little bit and still get out more info because we're not responding to live chats the whole time, which we used to a lot. Now, uh, what we do though, that is just kind of a small tweak, but what's actually changing more significantly is uh, the upload schedule on the channel. We actually have something that's going to be consistent now. Um, so, so basically the way it's going to work from here on out is on Thursdays you will see WordCast uploaded sometime in mid-afternoon. And then uh, Fridays you will see a cutout of WordCast uploaded. Now that's going to be like a specific section like say talking about new GPUs, new CPUs, whatever it may be where we talk in detail about that. But it'll be you know anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes discussion about that topic that's pulled out from WordCast and sometimes extra B-rolls added in and stuff like that. Uh, we figured that's a good way to get out content because not everybody wants to watch you know hour and a half, two hours of news content. But, uh, you know, maybe like when, you know, NVIDIA launched RTX, having a, you know, 25 minute cutout of just RTX information is something that people will be more willing to watch. And so we'll have that on Fridays. Uh, Saturdays and Sundays both are going to be bonus upload dates. So like channel updates like this one today, um, or, um, other various stuff, if we have like, if there was a huge week in news and we need to do more than two cutouts, I'll get to the second one in a second, uh, then uh, we can upload it on those dates. Or if we just have a backlog, because for whatever reason, Mirko and Daniel and I all have videos to put out at the same time for some reason, we can fit them all in in a week period if necessary. Uh, then on Mondays, you'll see another cutout from uh, WordCast. So there'll be at least two every week is the plan, the two biggest topics. The only reason there wouldn't be is if there was only one like actually big topic and everything else is just rapid fire, who cares stuff, then you might not see the video on Monday. Um, and then uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays are going to be reserved for uh, dedicated upload videos. Now that does not mean there will be one every Tuesday or Wednesday. It doesn't mean there'll be a review or other video every Tuesday or Wednesday. It means that those are the upload slots that we've allocated for when we do those kinds of videos other than Saturday, Sunday being the bonus content. Uh, so you can look for bonus content from us on Saturdays and Sundays, uh, but generally that's those are going to be left more blank versus the uh, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday stuff because Tuesday and Wednesday, that gives me enough time personally to film on like Friday night or uh, sorry, Friday. Uh, sorry, I should say Thursday, actually, because Friday something else goes on that I'll get to in a second and then edit and or film more on Saturday and Sunday and have it fully you know, rendered, ready, uploaded, ready to publish at 7 a.m., which is our upload date for most of our videos, uh, including the WordCast cutouts. Uh, just have it ready to go basically on Tuesday or Wednesday so that that's there and good and not being uploaded in the middle of the day or, or different time frames and stuff like that. So that's the, the plan for dedicated content. Now, um, regarding dedicated content, I did want to get to something is uh, I'm kind of changing formats a little bit here. I feel like there are a lot of reviewers out there that are reviewing content, uh, reviewing new graphics cards and stuff. And, um, 
it's not worth it to me to spend the time to review the products that there's already 25, 30 other big time reviewers out there doing because that I, I'm competing with them in that sense. And, uh, you know, I mean, we're all community, not competing, but competing, if you know what I mean, in terms of viewership and stuff. And I feel like there's already a lot of content out there, but there's stuff that's missing that other tech uh, reviewers and YouTubers don't do. And that's the content that I want this channel to, to focus on more is more unique stuff rather than just the big time reviews. There'll still be some big time reviews, you know, if I somehow got my hands on a 2080 TI, like, of course, I'm going to review that because I want to because I have it. But the content that we're going to do here is going to be more about stuff we want to do and stuff that I think is a little more unique. So first off, we'll be reviewing products that there's less reviews out there of. Uh, you know, my most popular video was a review of this guy, this monitor over here. This uh, you can see it's in portrait mode, uh, 29 inch ultra wide, the LG 29 UM 68 P monitor. Uh, I have uh, well over a quarter million views on that video. That was an incredible video. I was mind blown that it was that big and I haven't had anything else even really that close to that for a while or ever actually. Um, but that was because none of the big YouTubers had reviewed that. And I feel like our content quality here, while not as good as the big guys is, is pretty decent when we put our effort into a real review, it's, it's pretty good. And especially with the newer camera setup and stuff back then I was just filming on a phone. Um, but it was just because nobody had reviewed that. And so that's something that I want to stick to a little bit more is content that nobody else has done content on. Um, so as another example that you'll probably see is uh, this big monitor back here. And this is the Acer XR382 CQK something, 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 something. Because Acer doesn't understand model numbers apparently. I did an unboxing of it uh, that was actually part of WordCast, but uh, also cut out separate. And that monitor is actually, it's, uh, there's no information on this monitor, even really this panel. It's hard to find info written on this panel. It's a 38 inch, 3840 by 1600, 75 hertz panel. Although 75 hertz doesn't seem to work with NVIDIA correctly for some reason, kind of weird. Uh, anyway, supports FreeSync and other stuff like that. And HDR, HDR support it. It's decent HDR, not the best implementation, but great monitor. And I'm not seeing a lot of content on it. And honestly, I prefer this over the 34 inch, 3440 by 1440 displays, which I've seen plenty of. Friends of mine have them and they're nice, but I like this extra four inches and the extra uh, resolution is really, really nice to have. So uh, I'll probably be doing a review of that. And those are the kind of things I want to go over rather than reviewing, you know, the Dell XPS 15 or my 1080 Ti's and SLI or something like that. And then the other kind of content that I want to do aside from reviews is actually more personalized content in terms of what I do with my setup. Um, what kind of software I use, you know, what kind of software, what are my favorite applications that I use on Windows, because I think I do some really unique stuff that a lot of other people aren't doing, uh, or favorite extensions on a browser, or uh, uh, build videos as well, what I do personally with my build, and, and uh, th that kind of stuff is the content I want to cover, and less so reviews, because I actually enjoy doing content on this stuff more than I do on dedicated reviews, depending on the product, because some of that is just like, I feel like I'm putting in even more work than would be required to make a video about uh, software or something like that. And uh, I don't mean that to complain like, oh, more work. It's just I have, I have very limited time working full time, running this business, helping my dad run his business, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I, I mean, I sleep six hours a night. You know, it's like, uh, but uh, anyway, point, getting back on topic. I, I digress. Sorry about that. But uh, uh, point being, I feel like my time is better spent doing something I enjoy more and I can get content out more consistently than if I'm doing content on things that are more interesting to me personally and stuff that's more unique and probably more likely to actually pull in some viewership because why would somebody watch my review of a 2080 Ti over, you know, uh, Gamers Nexus review of a 2080 Ti or something. They have the testing equipment to do better stuff than us. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for something brief, you'll watch Jay's Two Sensor Linus Tech Tips uh, because they're just going to, it's going to be a quick, non in depth video, which, which is fine. I mean, they go in depth enough, right? But I mean, if you want all the details, then you go to Gamers Nexus or PC Per or something like that. What's the reason to come to my channel? Because my reviews don't tend to be super brief. And I also don't have the testing equipment required to do really in depth reviews of products like GPUs and stuff. So it'll be more project videos, I think is what, what I'm really getting at here. I'm kind of rambling and I apologize for that kind of a long video. But um, so that's kind of what I mean by the restructuring of the channel here. And I think you'll start seeing more content from Daniel fairly soon. He's been working on getting some stuff together. Um, so hopefully we get that up soon. I do really want to start writing articles on the news articles on the website on a daily basis. That's something I absolutely love to do. It's just been really hard to find the time to do it because a good quality written news article takes anywhere from a half hour to an hour, you know, and people think these big news sites make a lot of money and don't, don't do much work. But, you know, writing five or six articles a day 
as a single person is really challenging. That's like a day's worth of work right there. And then if you have to do more research, if it's not just regurgitation, then there's more time that goes into that. And so that's something I want to start doing, but I'm not going to promise anything right now. But if you start seeing content on there, then cool. If not, then, you know, whatever it, it happens, life goes on. Uh, I think the, the videos are something that's a little more important. I have the, the equipment for the video filming. And uh, rather than just typing away on a keyboard, I'd like to use this computer that I have back here and the cameras and lights that I've spent a lot of money on to actually make content. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just go out on a whim. And, and b before I say this, I want to say anybody that's not interested in a little more personal stuff about me or my, my setup here, uh, that's been a 15 minute section of the video. Just you can leave now if you want. That's totally fine. I won't be offended. But uh, I, I was actually having almost second thoughts about this channel uh, for, for a little while. Not in the sense that I didn't want to do it, but just in the sense it was so hard to manage my time. And uh, I just, I felt maybe like it wasn't the direction I wanted to go. I wasn't really sure. Uh, it hasn't really blown up or taken off quite yet. But um, Daniel's convinced me to continue doing it. And I'm, I'm in agreement with him because I love doing the content that I do. I spent a lot of money on the camera gear and stuff that I have here and the rig that I have purpose built for editing more so than gaming. Uh, and so I feel like it's, it's a good idea to keep going because of the monetary investment, but also that I enjoy doing it. And so I just want to say thanks though, to everybody that has supported the channel that watches all of our videos, that shares our videos, that subscribed. I really appreciate everything that all of you do. And, uh, hopefully as we roll out a more consistent content schedule, we can start pulling in some of the bigger view numbers rather than just the good retention. Uh, I feel like we've had a lot of people, they see a video and they subscribe cause they like the content, but, uh, we don't have the retention that we want where people are coming back and watching every single video. Um, and it, of course, depends on what it is to other videos. Some videos get really like a good amount of views. Other videos, it's like, oh, 10 views, whatever. Uh, the content takes a lot of work. I love doing it, though. It's something I do enjoy. And so I'm not just doing it because, oh, I need to be a famous YouTuber or something. I've got a, I, I, this is this is a, a career option for me. But of course, I've I already have career stuff lined up for me. This is something I do because I enjoy doing it uh, and hopefully can turn it into a good sized business someday that both Daniel and I can do full time. Uh, but that's, that's going off in the future. Again, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, but I just wanted to talk about that. Um, but anyway, I wanted to go ahead and just uh, talk briefly about what's changed back here because, uh, well, it probably looks like I'm in a completely different room, uh, but I'm actually not. So a lot has changed since I've done any kind of build content and, uh, you know, covered any of this. So first off, the walls are painted. They used to be red. I hate red. Uh, so I painted them a dark gray. I actually used uh, Logitech's uh, uh, mouse boxes to kind of model the gray after. So it's pretty similar to that color. Love it, painted it myself. I thank my mother for helping me with it. She's a really good painter, but uh, she kind of taught me how to do it. And then I, I handled the rest of it. And I think it turned out really, really good. It's a great color over here. And it definitely fits the monochrome with green accent kind of build that I've been doing over here. So very happy about that. Again, all this will be covered in more detail with more B-roll and a dedicated build update video. But the other few changes is obviously, as you can see, I've got, I, I mentioned earlier, I've got the 38 inch ultra wide here curved beautiful panel, great for gaming and editing, but also to help me edit, I've got this guy right here. And this is a uh, Dell 4K monitor that you can get for like $430 right now. It's 60 Hertz, very, very, very pretty panel, comes color calibrated, beautiful, great job. And so I ended up getting one of those and it's been a great experience because now I can finally edit the content in the resolution that I film it in. Um, it's been a problem in the past where I just like wasn't sure is the 4K really looking that good and stuff. And I, I have a 4K TV, but watching it after the fact isn't that great, right? Um, um, and then the build, as you can see, is in a completely different case. I used to have a uh, Fantex N2 Evolve over here. Actually, a fun, quick story that I'll get into about this, and that's probably the last real thing that I'll go over here. Uh, the rest I'll save for a dedicated video. But that case is actually really sentimental to me. So that was my first really high-end PC case. I had some cheaper large cases. I've always liked large cases. Uh, but then I, I spent the full $250 on this one when it came out, like right after launch. Uh, this was back like sophomore year of high school. And um, then I also also spent an extra hundred dollars on a custom you can't really see it but a custom acrylic side panel that i have for it uh that's made by mmpc tech great job on those guys part beautiful beautiful side panel so i've got the acrylic side panel there it's like a i think it's a quarter inch thick really high quality stuff um but that case i actually i had it and then i made this weird decision like three and a half years ago that i was going to move over to a laptop only setup and get rid of all my desktops and part of it was kind of i wanted to try it and see how it went and the other part was i was going to college i wanted a high-end 
weekend thing to bring with me to college because um, I, I was just going there daily. I didn't go to a dorm or anything. Otherwise, I would have just built a desktop for that. Uh, but I wanted something high-end to bring there because of the, the work that I was doing there. And um, so I went to laptop only. I sold this rig. I sold every part in individually, and I sold the case to a friend of mine. And um, he thought he was going to expand on his build, and he never did. Uh, point being, I went through a couple laptops and stuff and finally wanted to go back to a desktop. I'd gone through several cases. I started getting high-end stuff again, but I, I, I really missed this case. I wanted it. And even after getting the Enthu Evolve, wonderful case, by the way. Absolutely love building in that. But the problem is the Enthu Evolve is a, uh, a mid-tower and I was running out of space. I was filling it up with hard drives, the HBA, the dual GPUs. There wasn't enough uh, airflow. Things were getting really hot. And so I was like, I think it's time to move to a bigger case again. And I was looking around and there's just nothing on the market that was satisfactory to me, aside from some case lab stuff, kind of, rest in peace, case labs, but uh, there was some stuff from them that I was like, oh, that looks interesting. Good thing I didn't order that. This was right before they went under. But um, anyway, um, then I contacted my buddy that bought this case from me, and it turns out he never utilized all the extra space in it. So I uh, was like, well, you know what? I've got a really nice mid-tower case, and I need more space. Would you be interested in a trade? So we straight traded. I got this case back and he got that case. It looks better in his environment, fits better because this thing is a huge behemoth and he didn't need the space in it. He had like a, you know, a single GPU and I think it was like a 960. So, I mean, we're talking a pretty small like Strix GPU, um, you know, uh, and like an Intel stock cooler. Like he did not need a case this big. He thought he was going to do more with his rig and he ended up not going that direction. So now I've got my Enthu Primo back and I absolutely love it. Building in it is always a good experience. I have not seen yet since this came out of mid tower in this price range that satisfies me the way this one does. Even stuff from my Cooler Master like the C700 and stuff, they're good, but I think they look disgusting on the inside. They don't have good covers to, to keep the cables clean. And so this thing, I just absolutely love building in it. I think it's a great design. And uh, now I also have 16 fans in it. So there's that, 16 uh, Noctua NFF-12s, NFA-14s, and uh, NFA-15s is what I have in there. Uh, they're just a wonderful case. I can't believe it can hold that many fans for air cooling. There's no radiators in there, uh, but 16 fans, so the thing is utterly silent. And I got a new power supply, too, the AX1600i, which is nice and silent, too. So this rig is like like approaching my dream rig if I had unlimited money, so to speak, at this point. I absolutely adore it. And uh, I'll be doing a dedicated video covering a lot of this stuff and maybe even a dedicated one on that build. But that'll probably, that particular video will probably wait till I get custom cable extensions in there because wow, the cables on the AX1600i are among the most disgusting I have ever seen uh, from a power supply. They're not ketchup and mustard. That's even worse. But they have capacitors and the heat shrink to cover up the capacitors is like this long. So you've got a stiff section of cable like this long right after the actual uh, uh, connection to the motherboard. It's disgusting. So anyway, uh, but that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to go over for this. I just wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on in uh, for the channel and in my life and everything. And uh, there'll be more content coming out soon for you guys. I should have a uh, cutout. Well, there was one yesterday uh, or was there a one yesterday? Maybe there wasn't. Oh yeah, because no, WordCast was uploaded yesterday. There'll be one on Monday. I already explained all that. So there'll be one on Monday and um, maybe another one next week too because we missed the Friday one. So uh, look forward to getting that video out for you guys. It's actually rendering in the background right now. So uh, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, and definitely check out, we have a new uh, community Discord link down in the description now so you can join our Discord and chat with other uh, people. So we've got that set up now. Uh, not a lot of people in it right now, but wanted to get set up early. So we've got that. And then the one last thing I wanted to go over that I can't believe I forgot. Um, Daniel and I, we stream uh, Destiny 2 Forsaken. The new update made the game not garbage. It's actually really good now. Every single Friday uh, at like usually 8 p.m. ish Pacific time. Uh, so that's something you guys can watch out for. I'll put the uh, the link to our channels down in the description as well, so that you guys can go follow us on Twitch. We stream on Twitch and then upload later on, uh, or I upload later on our uh, Word Tech Gaming channel. We have a dedicated gaming channel that we don't put much out on, but we're going to start doing more on that. And so definitely make sure to subscribe there if you're interested in watching it after the fact instead of live uh but anyway that's it so thank you everybody don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos and uh leave me leave a comment let me know what you think of what's going on with the channel and the changes that i've uh, proposed but uh everybody have a great day and i'll see you in the next one